Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. Analog mode allows the drive to follow a signal generated from a controller or other device in the form of a plus minus voltage command. In this segment, we will set up a drive for analog torque mode. To operate the AKD in analog torque mode, the command source must be set to 3, analog mode, and the operation mode set to 0, torque. Once set, the scaling can be configured in the analog input screen. This screen will reflect that the analog input mode is set to 1 command source. The current scaling can be set in amps RMS per volt. If the peak torque of the drive is required, then this scaling will be based on the maximum input voltage and the peak of the drive. For example, we have a plus minus 10 volt input and a peak drive current of 9 amps RMS. We will set the scaling to 0.9 amps per volt or 9 divided by 10. The offset can be used to apply a small amount of torque or to create an offset due to loading. Clicking more expands the parameters available for setting up the analog command. The addition of the dead band or dead zone can be used if there is an area of noise around the zero volt level. This will stop the system from being jittery. The main difference between dead band and dead zone is how it reacts when the value of the analog signal goes above the set value. The one you will use will depend on the level of noise in your system. If you haven't already done so, you might want to check out our noise checklist before setting up your drive in analog mode. It will save you a lot of time and headaches in the long run. Check out other segments on analog velocity and analog position. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you next time.